In last lecture, we talked about uh, block diagram simplification. That is, if you have uh, a system which, are, which is composed of multiple subsystems, then you utilize block diagram reduction techniques to obtain a single transfer function for the overall system. Uh, in today's lecture, we shall talk about another technique to obtain uh, to achieve block diagram simplification or block diagram reduction. <coughs> so this technique is more convenient for complex systems. Uh, before we talk about this technique, let's uh, talk about uh, signal flow graphs. Signal flow graphs <coughs> are used to represent uh, systems and sometimes these are more convenient than the block diagram. For example, if we have uh, this uh, system, we have a system and we want to represent this system using signal flow graphs. With signal flow graphs, each signal is represented by a node, a small circle. That is, we have this signal R of S. And then this signal, this signal E of S, is obtained by taking the difference between this signal and this signal. So, <coughs> here, this, uh, the line which connects the two nodes is called branch. And gain of branch is written by, uh, is written over here. So, if this signal is R of S, what is this signal over here? It is also R of S. And then, this signal is C of S, which is obtained by multiplying this signal with G of S. And this signal, if I multiply it by 1, this is also C of S. This signal is equal to this signal minus this signal. R uh, is equal to minus H of S. <coughs> signal flow graph for this block diagram is over here. The lines which connect the nodes are called branches and the gain of branch is written over here. The direction of signals is indicated by arrows, right? And for this node, this node, if two signals are coming to this node, if this signal is A, this signal is B, then this signal C will be equal to the sum of incoming signals, right? And likewise, if these are there are two outgoing branches, then what will be this signal? This signal will be the same as this signal, right? It is not like the nodes in electrical circuits. So, the signal coming out from this node is equal to sum of signals coming into this node. Signal flow graph is simply another way of representing block diagrams. Signal flow graph and block diagrams are equivalent they convey the same information. The only advantage of signal flow graph or block diagram is that sometimes it is more convenient to draw and sometimes more easy to read as we shall see. So, here the terminology is clear. We have nodes uh, represented by small circles and nodes can be further classified as source nodes. the nodes from which uh, signals are coming out and the sync nodes what are sync nodes? for example this is a sync node which uh, syncs the signal and then we have mixed nodes mixed <laughs> nodes are nodes which have both incoming signals and outgoing signals. For example, this is a mixed node. 
then uh, we have uh, branches the lines which uh, connect the uh, nodes these are called branches and uh, we have a gain of a branch gain of branch is written over here for example gain of this branch is g of s and uh, then we have uh, path <coughs> if we st uh, start from here from this point we can reach to this point by moving from here in the direction of arrows so this is called a path right from here to here we can move in this direction this is a path right and what is loop a closed path is a loop for example if we start from here we follow this path and we come back to this point this is start loop and then we have the terminology loop gain gain of a loop or gain of branches uh, which are there in the loop that is called loop gain for example what is loop gain for this loop right negative sign should also be there so loop gain for this loop is minus g of s into h of s clear and uh, then we have uh, uh, in some signal flow graphs you will have multiple loops you can have multiple loops for example you if you have this signal flow graph here there is one loop and there is another loop there are two loops these two loops will be called non touching loops if these loops do not share any common node so non touching loops for example these two loops are non touching loops because these do not share any common node likewise uh, for example if you have uh, this uh, signal flow graph and if we have one loop like this one and other loop like this one so these are touching loops these are not non touching loops because this loop this is one loop and this is other loop these two loops share nodes between them so these are not non touching loops these are touching loops and uh, what about uh, this case if we have for example this signal flow graph for a particular system then this loop is touching loop with this one this one is also touching with this one however these two loops are non touching loops so that concept is also clear forward path uh, we can move from this point to this point by uh, following different paths for example by moving from here to here in this way or moving from here to here in the direction of arrows to this point so forward path is the pa path which is from this signal to this signal but you cannot pass through one node in multiple times that is in this particular system this is the only forward path because if we start from here move in this direction we are passing through this node and this node multiple times so in a forward path you move from a node uh, for once only one time right so with this terminology we shall use we shall uh, be using this gain formula to obtain block diagram simplification uh, so you are required to sketch a signal flow graph for a block diagram which is i sketch in this diagram so this is a signal flow graph for the block diagram here this signal this signal that is this signal 
is equal to sum of this signal and negative of this signal, right? So this signal R of S plus this signal that is this signal and then this multiplied by G1 and added up with this, this signal this multiplied by G1 and then added up with this N of S is this signal which is over here and then this signal multiplied by G2 is C of S here we have C of S which when multiplied by 1 is also C of S and then this signal is this C of S that is this signal multiplied by minus H of S we also take minus sign over here because in signal flow graph we always add the signals which are incoming to the node. 